Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. I got a quick video for you today. Um, what you see here is uh, it's nothing special, really. It's a HP 8300 Elite desk or something like that. Anyways, uh, I picked this up at the um, thrift store for like less than 20 bucks. Yeah, 1919. Kind of weird number there, but. Um, yeah, I saw this on the shelf, and, and you see stuff like this kind of all the time. And it's usually older stuff like Core 2 Duos and stuff like that, but... Um, I noticed it had the uh, Core i3 sticker on it. And I went, okay, let me pick that up and, and take a quick look at it. And really, there's nothing special about this. Um, but I did notice in the back here... Well, first I picked it up and I felt something move around. And then I looked at the back and I see these PCI blanks are missing, and there's some sort of electro, you know, anti-static bag in there. Um, I was like, well, what is that? That's kind of like a two for one deal here. You get the computer and, and whatever that is. So I wanted to see what it was and they've got this screw in it, holding it closed. So there's no opening it. So I figured, you know what? It's like a, <laughs> it's like a grab bag. I'll go ahead and buy that up for $19. $19. So yeah, I carried it up to the, the front and paid for it and, and off I went. So let's go ahead and grab a screwdriver. Just remove this screw. And we'll see what, at least what treasure this is. Okay, this is, <laughs> okay, is a, that's a heck of a screw. I guess that's what, the, youth ranch had on hand to keep this thing closed because a lot of times you go into the resale shops or the thrift stores and there's a computer and you open up and like everything's missing people have stolen stuff out of it so i wonder if that's there because usually there's not a screw holding it closed oh i hope that screw didn't break anything there we go So it's looking pretty clean in there, which is kind of nice. So maybe the previous owner of this, oh, hey, it's a GPU. Maybe the previous owner of this took a little bit of better care than the most, um, than most uh, thrift store finds I, I find is. Uh, what do we got here, Radeon, uh, Radeon Graphics AMD. <laughs> it's missing the PCI um, bracket. I don't know why it's missing the PCI bracket. Um, this is a thing I see so much, like buying used parts, like on eBay or um, Craigslist or whatever. Uh, sound cards, graphics cards, any really any cards will be missing this PCI bracket, and I always wonder why. But anyways, let's see what this card is. I don't see any identifiable stickers on it. I don't see, I don't see anything. Well, the only thing I see right here, model C552. I don't know what that is. We'll find out. Let's get that on the side here. And then um, I am noticing that all of the RAM slots are occupied, but these two are different than these two. I'm gonna guess that these ones here are the factory RAM, factory installed RAM. What do we got? Hynix, four gigabyte, PC, well, DDR3, uh, 10,600. And then, um, yeah, matching stick of the same stuff. And then two unmatched sticks. At least going by the color, they're unmatched. Well, let me see here. We got a Samsung. Um, well, four gigabytes. So 16 gigs of RAM in here, which is kind of nice. So maybe somebody who was, um, you know, getting into gaming, you know, maybe upgrading their computer a little bit. Maybe this was their old PC. Maybe, um, maybe it doesn't have the i3 that was in here. Maybe they've upgraded that too. That would kind of be a cool little find here. Um, but let's see here, 12,800, so they didn't match the RAM to what was already in here. Let's see what... There we go. Let's 
same brand, but definitely different color. PC12800, timings 1111B1. 8, 14, yeah, just two, I mean, same type of RAM, but um, definitely not from the same batch. And then they definitely don't match this here. So at best it's running at 10,600, which ain't a big deal. And then, um, well, we're not gonna be able to check and see if the CPU has been changed out without taking that out there and we're not going to mess with that and that what is that very um there's a there's a hidden gift in here a second hidden gift what have we found more ram you know what i bet you this was the factory ram in it why would you stick it in there? Anyways, um, another four gigs of 12,800. That's, um, that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> it's weird. So let's pop that back down. There's no hard drive in this, so we can't boot it up into an operating system and, and see if they were playing games and stuff on this thing. But um, what we can do is, well, put the RAM back in it. Also, another thing I just thought of, um, the configuration of this, they had the mismatched over here in um, slot three and four and the matched RAM in one and two and none of that was doing them any favors because it wasn't running in dual channel mode. Well, I don't know. Um, dual channel nowadays is kind of... Um, it's forgiving, <laughs> to say the least. But um, these two blue sticks should really be in either the white or the black slots and not a white and a black slot. Let me see here. Anyways, that's kind of cool. This is somebody's old gaming rig. Well, maybe, you never know. So let's boot it up to we've got and then, um, well, we'll see if it boots up. And then we'll put this in there and see what it is. All right, first thing I'm gonna do before I boot this thing up is I'm gonna pull these um, little purple stickers off the front. I don't know what they were on there for, but we're gonna pull them off. Let me hit that power button. Well, it's quiet. Fans are running. I didn't think there'd be a problem with it, to tell you the truth. All right, finally into the BIOS. So let's see here, Intel, okay, we do have the i3-2120, so they didn't upgrade that. It's kind of a bummer. Um, probably not a whole lot in here. The date and time, I think, is right. Yep. My system uh, replicated setup. As far as the hard drive goes, I'm just going to chuck in a regular um, 500 gigabyte hard drive and um, uh, maybe one day we'll put an SSD in this or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I just kind of want to get it running. So the hard drive does it. It does not go into there. Where's it go? It goes under the power supply. Oh, uh, so it'll actually get uh, cooled by the power supply fan. Um, it'll be right here. Well, it'll be laying this way, but this fan will be blowing over it. So that's kind of nice. It's an interesting design choice. And it looks like it should, like there's no brackets or nothing down here. So I'm going to guess it uses sort of the Hewlett Packard style screws, put them on the side of your hard drive and it probably slots in to these here. So let's do that. Here we go, screws on there, 
I'm guessing this is the way it goes. There we go. Oh no, there are rails or something for it. Poop. Why? And through the magic of 3D printing, I didn't have to buy anything. And there we go. The adapters or spacers or whatever you want to call those that it needs. If you uh, if you have the means to get a 3D printer, get a 3D printer. It's it makes life pretty easy. well. It makes these little problems go away. There we go. That is an installed hard drive. By cable. Hard drive is installed. Well, it's kind of dusty, not real dusty. Anyways, um, let me throw this all back together, start it up, see if my drives are set up right, and then I'll install Windows. And next time you see this, we should have Windows 10 on there. All right, I got Windows 10 up and running, and according to Windows Update, our graphics card is a AMD R7 240. But looking at the hardware IDs. Um, and Googling those, it turns out it is a HD8570. Okay, I figured out what I'm gonna do with this guy here. I think this is gonna be my replacement HTPC. Um, I have been using this chonky boy here. Um, and when I say using it, I use the term very lightly because um, it doesn't get turned on, well, Take that back. It sits in hibernation a lot. Um, once in a while, you know, we boot it up and we stream Steam games to it, or if there's something we want to watch, you know, you get a movie from a friend or something like that. It might it might be a less than a legal copy, uh, and it's in a you know a file. So, anyways, <laughs> this is what I used to use if I had something that I needed to watch that doesn't play on the smart TV, and it doesn't happen often. So this thing sits unused and, and what this is is a 3570k um, ITX uh, I think it's a gigabyte board it's basically this was put together um, just from spare parts uh, stuff you know that you take apart and decommission and, and just basically stuff that was laying around we, we threw this together I threw this together um, a couple of years ago and I don't even remember fully what's in it oh we got a 750 ti um hard drive i know there's a ssd in here yep ssd i don't know what size it is um hard drive a probably a cheap power supply yeah cooler master 500 what some fans of course anyways um so like i said it doesn't get used much it sits around a lot filled with dust well, not too bad so i'm gonna replace it because this this setup here is too much for what i use um my htpcs for and this little guy down here is going to fit the bill perfectly except we do need to make a couple of changes on it. One, I want to throw in a 3770 i7. Trust me, it's an i7 3770. Um, I would like to throw in a Blu-ray drive. And I'm gonna take this hard drive, because I think it's a terabyte, it might be more. Um, I like to replace the 500 gigabyte that's in here with the larger uh, hard drive simply because there are about 500 gigs of files on here that I want to keep uh, mostly ROMs <laughs> oh yeah it's a <laughs> a NAS 2 gigabyte 2 gigabyte 2 terabyte I don't remember this being a particularly fast drive. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it's it doesn't need to be a fast hard drive. It's a 
So, thank you very much. There, yeah, it's a gigabyte board. Um, thank you very much, old HTPC. You will be made into something mo better good. No RAM in here. I got ballistic RAM in here. Wow. Cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, you can come along for the ride here. All right, so the first thing I wanna do in this conversion of this old uh, Office PC into a HTPC is I wanna put my hard drive in there and make sure it still works. Um, and when I say that, I mean, uh, I have an old install of Windows, I believe it's 10 on here, and I ended up upgrading the previous PC that I showed you um, with an SSD and then just use this for uh, storage, but I, I didn't end up formatting it. So I'm hoping that the old Windows install file on there works. I mean, it's not a big deal if it's, if it's not, it's just I have to copy some things off of it. Okay. <clears throat> This, uh, it's really pretty easy. I mean, it's supposed to be, but it's a pretty easy system to work on. I'm gonna kick the camera. So I'm gonna, these little guys here, and in case you guys need one for four, um, I, I do have a Thingiverse account that I upload to occasionally. So I'll put these up on there. Also, I'd like to take this opportunity to say that if you do stuff like this and you don't have a 3D printer, you should invest in a 3D printer. It is so nice to be able to just, just in, a, in minutes, you can have, um, you know, just little goofy things like these, which would take you a week to get on eBay and probably cost you $5 plus. And yeah, a, 3D printer is expensive, like initial uh, re investment, but um, I feel like it pays for itself in time and energy um, pretty quickly. So we're up, we're running. We're in pretty old version of Windows, I would guess, because there's no like news and stuff at the bottom. Uh, yeah, 19042. Cool. I'm going to put a new CPU in there to speed things up a little bit because we're going to do um, updates. And I'm also going to put the Blu-ray player in there. Not real sure why I'm doing this because I can't, <clears throat> can't really recall the last time I played a Blu-ray disc, but um, I will have the ability to do so. Okay. This should be super simple with this case. Will I even need tools? Well, shoot, I might need a pair of pliers to pull this out. Wow, okay, I don't feel any buttons or anything. Okay, well that was harder than it needed to be. Oh, you gotta lower this some? All right, there we go. Oh, and this uses the screws on the side, so no need to print anything, which is kind of nice. Drive is ready to go back in, got the screws in. Um, I realize that this is about, I don't know, half an inch to an inch longer than the old drive, but I don't think that'll be a problem. Yeah, there's still plenty of room back here. There we are. And now we will do the CPU. Okay. Get all these cables and wires out of the way. 
Not breaking nothing. So I already looked it up. This little cooler here should have, oh wow, more than what it takes to cool down this i7. Um, so there's no issue with that. These, these PCs also sometimes came with an i7. So like I said, we're not, we're not really stressing this thing out. Man, these. Oh, there it goes. All right, we're gonna break out the big guns because I don't want to go down to the garage. There we go. Oh, wow, that was not even hardly touching. Wow, that's, that's awful. Are you not touching? How did this thing not burn up over the years? I can't be the first. Evidently, I am the first one to dig into this thing. Holy smokes. And that's not even paste anymore. No, kind of. Down here, it's not really. It's not smudging. Anyways, okay. Wow. Um, that's awful. <laughs> Now, I have I have taken apart a lot of computers, but I have never seen one that bad. There's nothing there. This is... So I wish I had something I could do with these 2120s or the 2100s. I, I've, I've got like four of them in my little CPU bin. And it's really a bin of CPUs that don't have a lot of chance of ever being used again. I guess I could sell them, but I have a number of them. Yeah, I got, let's see here. Well, I've only got two uh, currently, but I have removed like five or six. And you replace them with, you know, i5 2400s or 2600s. So I, I have looked it up. Um, everything that I read says that I should be able to, with the current BIOS that's on here, um, put a third gen i7 in here. Uh, if not, I mean, I can just tear it all apart again and, and swap out the BIOS. But, um, should work right off the bat. There we go. And now I'm worried that if I put this one on there, it won't see something severely warped on it. I mean, it feels cheap. There's no, there's no weight to this. This is very light and very cheap. It does have two heat pipes in it, though. Yeah, it's, it's just super cheap. Well, that's, uh, that's something for future me to figure out. Today, we've got to just get this thing back together. I don't want to make this thing any worse than it is, so we'll use something plastic to scrape that off, and then we'll clean it. There we go. I still can't get over how poorly that uh, contact is. How'd this thing not overheat in here over the years? I mean, it, it is like a 35 watt chip, so. But the one that's going in there is 77. So we gotta have better covers than that. I'm gonna use a little extra to ensure good contact. Go. Oh, I am interested. Uh, should I tighten this down and pull it off and see what kind of pattern it leaves? 
I mean, no, it probably won't be great. I'm not going to grill these on. I'm just going to snug them down. There we go. Pop that down. Alright, let's plug her in and boot it up. Make sure it works. Should boot. Shoot. For a second. Alright. Well, just as I said alright, and I went to turn the camera off, the computer shut off. You good this time? I think it is. So I ran Cinebench three times to make sure that the cooler in here could handle it. We got a little toasty at about 77 max. Um, we're not going to be pushing this PC that hard all the time, so should be fine. I'm going to hook this thing up to the internet, let it do all of its updating, because um, it's definitely going to have to update Windows and whatnot, and then set it up the way I want it, and then we'll come back and conclude this video. Okay, after messing around with this thing for a little while, come to the conclusion that the hard drive in it is entirely too slow. Um, not doing a lot of hard drive intensive stuff, but just even navigating windows is very slow. Um, and I'm going to attribute that to having such a slow hard drive. So we're going to tear it out. We're going to put this one terabyte one in there. Um, I don't really need two terabytes on here. Uh, so we're just going to, we're going to pull that NAS hard drive out of there, which it works fine, but like I said, it's just super slow. Also, I think I'm going to pare the memory down to just the eight gigabytes. It seems like kind of a waste to have 16 in there for what I use it for. So um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this uh, Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM drive in there. And it should be quite a bit snappier. Okay, so we're back up and running with Windows 10. We swapped out the NAS hard drive for the regular 7200 RPM hard drive. Really the only thing left to do is to remove these stickers on here and um, we'll be done. So I'm going to do that. So these usually just peel up. Yeah, I don't need to go get a spudger or anything. Take this Core i3 off of here because we definitely don't have a Core i3 anymore. got these ones on the side. I'm gonna end up leaving the old Windows 7 sticker on there because it's got the uh, um, activation number on there. There's a product number on there. This is the original HP sticker there, so maybe I'll leave that on on there. There we go. And I almost forgot. I saw that the feet on the bottom front of the machine um, are missing. The, the front or the rear two are uh, still there. So, so let me grab my furniture pads. These things are great. Stick it on right where those feet went.
Looks pretty straight. There we go. And there you have it. Now I have a pretty capable, um, like I said, it's a little side grade from the HTPC that I used to have. And um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to fit nice on the shelf. It's going to open up some room. And um, it was a nice little find for 20 bucks at the thrift store. So I'm pretty happy with that. This uh, video is not a, about um, what software and stuff to put onto an HTPC. That's kind of up to everybody. Um, I've been using and you know an H HTPC, an HTPC um, for a number of years now, and it's just basically I I just use vanilla Windows um, hooked up to the TV because in the beginning when I started doing um, when I first put a computer on the uh, TV. Um, it was a lot of like, uh, you know, you ask around on Reddit and stuff and do some searching online and, and they have you install this, that, and the other. Um, but it's really just good for, in my opinion, like keeping your media files straight. And I, I really don't use media files. Like I don't watch ripped videos and stuff like that. Um, that, that information might have been from the days when you could sail the seven seas. But um, this just works for great for me. You can load up... Uh, uh, YouTube, you can have Discord running, um, you know, you could, it could be download something in the background if you don't want to download it on your main computer. It's just, it's just kind of nice to have. And I kind of recommend most people that have, you know, like an aging smart TV or even like an old Roku or something hooked up, just replace it with one of these. It's so much nicer and so much faster. The, the only downtime is, is starting it up or when it, um, you know, has to do an update or something like that. But I leave it running for the most part. Um, you know, it, it'll go to sleep after a couple of hours, but I just leave it on and it does its thing. And you turn the TV on and, and boom, it's, it's ready to go. So that's going to do it for this. Um, there really wasn't a point to this. I just I wanted to show off a cool find I, I got at the thrift store. Um, and then I upgraded it a little bit just for some, um, some extra bonus. And... Um, make it more usable for myself. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, I do appreciate you watching to the end. <laughs> Go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you very much. Bye for now.